I like Connor Hellebuck too. Did I mention that? He's a good guy. Get ready to fly. My name is Zachary Nolan. Welcome back. The Jets win 4-2 over the New York Rangers in New York, I might add. What a damn fun game this was. A little stressful near the end, but it was a damn fun game. Uh, great game, totally. Um, but yeah, wow. Thanks so much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit the subscribe button and leave a like. We are at 1,673 subscribers. We're trying to hit 1,700 subscribers. Every little bit helps. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this game was hectic at times, scary at times, but mostly fun. Um, obviously, this was going to be a big test for the Winnipeg Jets. They pretty much shellacked two straight bottom feeders to get into this. Um, they killed... The Ducks, 6 nothing. They slaughtered Columbus, 6-1. to one. And now they come into New York, who, on their own, are a very dangerous squad. First period is an extremely exciting period of hockey, but doesn't, war but doesn't result in any goals. I liked how the Jets kept pace with the Rangers. However, that style of game that was happening really favors the New York Rangers, who I think have more speed-based offense than the Jets. I think it's safe to say, because even guys that are on their depth chart, like like Cooley and Jones, they have good bursts of speed there. Cooley, by the way, holy crap, where did this kid come from? He had like three breakaways this game. Um, unlike the Jets, who have guys that are a lot more methodical through the neutral zone, like Defoley Mo and Monaghan. I'd mentioned Mark Shapley too, but Jesus Christ, did he not look slow and methodical tonight? Um... We go to the second period, and finally the game starts to open up again. Great shift by the first line. First line had a night today, I gotta say. Um, honestly, the first line has been a little bit, I don't want to say subpar. They've done enough to warrant fine minutes. However, their defensive lapses have also been kind of the headline of their time on ice, so to speak. Like, we've been looking at them going, okay, but... You're getting a goal per game, but you're also nearly costing us three. So what's the trade-off here? That being said, top line tonight was dominant, honestly, out there. Especially th through the first two periods. Um, second period, Mark Shifley gets the deflection uh, from, I believe it's uh, a Schmidt shot. And IFL also gets the assist on that. Beautiful play there as they just hand the Rangers in their own end to make a one other reaction here. Yeah! Woo! Let's go, boys! What a great push at the beginning of this period to get this goal. Let's go. Yeah, and honestly, that, that was solid. Love to see it. Also worth noting, Matt Rempe uh, had ser has served his suspension but was not added to the roster today. I'm happy about that. Uh, the kid's excited. The kid's fun. Um, he's definitely kind of an, a, a real energizer. That being said... There's no sense in you playing him against us. Like, save it for a division rival. Like, I'm like, don't bring out Matt Rempe because we all know it's gonna happen. Rempe's gonna get a little too excited. He's gonna throw a hit, and then Morgan Barron's gonna be concussed. And it's like, what the f Matt, Matt. Like, I like the kid. The kid's fun, and he definitely. Although that being said, he is trying to speed run, um, do a CTE speed run at this rate. With the amount of fights he's getting into. That being said, I just don't think he, his presence was warranted here. And, I, and I'm and i glad that the, the Rangers coaching staff agreed and held him out. Uh, that being said, why wasn't Colin Miller dressed? Why did we get him if you're not going to dress him? Just saying. I hope that he's playing in New Jersey. Actually, who I also hope is playing in New Jersey is Laurent Brassois. Because as I've said, uh, I want Hellebuck to get more rest around the stretch. 
on the home stretch. I don't want him to be worked into the fucking ground. He's an amazing goaltender, but if he has to save 40 shots like that every night, that mother is going to look like burnt toast. Um, anyway, the Rangers do get one back. Alex Wendenberg on the power play makes it 1-1 reaction here. Ah! Oh, God. Just happened to be on the doorstep there. It was an amazing save by Helly, but... Ah! It's a great save by Hellebuck. Uh, the, the reason... It's a bad rebound, but I can't really blame him for that. It's hard to really control your rebound when you're stretching out like that. That being said, th the biggest mistake the Jets make on this power play is giving up the... I believe it's Panarin in the slot. They give up that slot lane to Panarin way too easy. Like, the second you're going through there, there's obviously a combative thinking here. You don't want to have a full-on screen for Hellebuck from there because then you're in deep trouble. That being said, you got to get a body there to almost force him to throw that puck away because if he's not forced to throw the puck away and he can ha and he has time it's just going to create immense chaos on the penalty kill for the first half of that penalty kill it was great but it there wasn't enough pressure through the middle of the air of, of the zone and it ultimately resulted in a very um a very reversible uh uh rebound goal for the rangers that being said, the Jets get a power play of their own, and my God Almighty, I I love I was absolutely loving what that power play was cooking tonight. I I love the movement there. I actually think it's better when they don't move it on Kyle Connor's side of the ice. I think it's a lot better when when Shifley and Toffoli can play catch because I'm I'm I love Kyle Connor on the power play and he will end up getting this goal. That being said, he's better as a guy that can come in to clean up the scraps of a play rather than a guy that has to set up said play. Toffoli and Monahan are so in sync with each other and how they were passing through there and especially Toffoli and Shifley on the wall there. I think that was the perfect the quintessential power play there. You work it between Shifley there Go back to Morrissey if you have to change the lane a bit if they start pressing on, on Shifley, but they were giving him a lot of room. Um, finally play it down, pass out to Monaghan. He gets a shot at it, rebound goes right to Kyle Connor, and he puts the Jets up to one. There! Yes! Woo! Let's go! There it is, boys! Let's go, boys. This is where I get hit with uh, an absolute bomb. Mark Shifley out of absolutely goddamn nowhere strips Chris Kreider of the puck, blows past the defense, and how it serves this into the back of the net. 3-1 Jets reaction here. Oh! Please, Mark. Yeah! Woo! a boy, Mark! Let's go! Holy crap, where did that burst come from? And yeah, the Jets will take a 3-1 lead into the third period. The Jets have only lost one, two games uh, with a lead going into the third period. One in regulation. That was definitely the Edmonton game. And one in overtime. That game is escaping me right now. Um, they go into the third period with a 3-1 lead. What time is it? Moose watch! Oh. Moose watch! So, the Manitoba Moose have been keeping the season rolling. They had a morning game today, which was weird. I just woke up and I had um, updates from Twitter. It just like, oh yeah, Moose up 3-1, Moose up 4-1. It's like, oh, what the fuck? Uh, but yes, they played in the morning, and they won. They had a, a big win. I believe it was 5-1 over the Grand Rapids Griffins, and they've been so impressive as of late. They've pretty much, l not locked up, but they've secured, uh, they've put a lot of insurance into that fifth uh, Central Division spot, and are actually now only four points behind the fourth place spot in the division with the game in hand on them this it's been great to see honestly this group has really started to come together and despite having a slight losing record 
recency stat recent stats suggest they are trending upwards and could make noise in an AHL playoff situation if they can keep this rolling. I've been really impressed with Henry Nikkinen. I've I've said that already. Um, he's had a real great bounce back half of the year. Um, Parker Ford has stepped up big time. Jeff Malott and Jeffrey Viel have both been two regulars that have been just cooking well. Uh, Viel had a great shorthanded goal tonight. Um, Brad Lambert, Ch Chibrikov looked great. Uh, the defense has really s tightened up and the goaltending has been spectacular. Thomas Millich, I believe, got star of the week, I believe. Uh, I think that was his official. It was something like that, like where it was either like of the, I think it was of the week. Um, in the AHL, which is big. That's he for go. He went three and zero in that three zero and zero in that week at, in that week, and it was it was great to see. Here's some highlights from the game here. Dubs over for Keppel. Bianco a shot. Rebound off the back wall. He scores. Dawson Marco, and it's one nothing moves. In the power play, Lambert down low for four to shot, and he scores. Parker four. Oh, what a shot! And it's two nothing moves. Going to look up top here as Tumi starts some room, but he loses it, and Viel is gone. Jeffrey Viel in on the short end, a breakaway, he scores! Jeffrey Viel, and it's 3 nothing. Moose! Now for Sautner, moves to the middle of the ice for a shot. Out in front for Janssen, Pjolmi, and he scores! Axel Janssen, Pjolmi! There's Casper moving ahead, he'll give the puck away, and now Lambert is going to race ahead. Brad Lambert in off the right side, he scores! Yeah, and now bef and now that was most watched. Now we'll go into the third period and something I just forgot to mention. Uh, Rick Bonus was not here today. Uh, he is back in Winnipeg with a they say a minor um, medical. Uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Me medical something. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say operation because I think that's I, I don't I that's that's a very it's a very heavy word to say. But um, he he was out and. Um, obviously thoughts, thoughts with Rick Bonus for sure. I'm, I, it, they, they didn't seem, the Jets didn't seem to make it, they didn't make it sound like it was a very big risk. So that's, that's good. Obviously that being said, Scott Arneal stepped up big. Uh, I liked his management of the lines other than Colin Miller not being in the lineup, which I, which, you know, I'm not going to hate it. If, 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 if Schmidt steps up like he did tonight, I don't hate that. It's just. Proactively, I'm like, okay, what are you doing here? We do want to get reps in. But yeah, I like that. Um, the fourth line, I, I think, deserves some praise here. There was a shift uh, with seven minutes left in the period. I, 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 I took note of this. Where the fourth line, they're up. Jets are up by two. Um, and the fourth line's just killing the Rangers in their own zone. They're cycling it around. They're forcing them to almost puck watch because they can't keep chasing them. And it was one of just a perfect sequence that I love from that fourth line. There is skill there. Um, there's grit with guys like Gustafson and Baron, and there's skill with a guy with a guy like Vladislav Nemesnikov. And Gus, the Gus Bus and Baron just cycle this around to the point where the Monahan line gets on, and they just give a tape to tape pass to Sean Monahan. And I'm like, perfect. That's the type of shit I want to see the fourth line do night in, night out. And if you're doing it against the team against the Rangers, that's spectacular. That's just showing how you are making a difference in your limited minutes um, without having to get on the scoreboard. You are making the most of your minutes. I'm really proud of that. Um, Jets do give up one late in the period, which gets a little nerve-wracking. Alexi Lafreniere scores uh, to make it 3-2 reaction here. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Settle down. Settle down. <sighs> All right, now the game gets stressful, needlessly. I was surprised the Rangers didn't pull the goalie on the shift before because they were really pushing the pace. That being said, the Jets don't win the draw and they just can never get it out. Um, and it's there's only so much you can do there. That being said, it, nothing is really on Hellebuck. It's a rebound from right in tight and it just goes under the bar. It is what it is. But um, yeah, Jets undeterred though. Rangers pull the goalie again. And it's a couple close calls. I wanted a tripping penalty. Um, they they had their hand up for one against Mark Shifley as he shot this puck into the empty net. They should have had one up for Sean Monaghan getting absolutely wasted on the boards. That was a trip. That's a trip. I don't know how you missed that, but that's fine. 
It's just, you know, you get scared when something gets missed like that and it gets gets thoughts in your head. Um, but yes, the Jets, Shifley completes their hat trick to make it 4-2 reaction here. Just get it clear. Just get it cleared. Yes. How the fuck are we not calling tripping now? Hey, yo. Yes! Hat trick, Shifley! Great, great read by Monahan there. Monahan just went, all right, I'm just going to watch this puck go into the net. They should have called tripping against Monahan, but I'll take it. Let's fucking go. Shifley has had a, a couple good visits uh, to the Garden. Uh, obviously, last year, we were at that game in the Garden where Hellebuck made 50 saves. Uh, Josh Morrissey broke the record for uh, points for a defenseman in uh, a season. And Shifley had a two-goal performance. So, yeah, Shifley playing good in MSG. Love to see it. Um, Jets will want to win 4-2. to two. Awesome to see. We're going to do a quick update on the women's side of hockey here. Women! 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 So, uh, there's no game today. There is a trade to announce, though, and I'm going to do my best to say these names. Oh, boy. Um, Katrin Lanergan and Lexi Adziga uh, are being traded to Boston, and being traded to Ottawa is Cheyenne Darkangelo. Um, the one that has people a little bit rattled in this is Lexi going to Boston. Apparently, she was a big fan. She was a bit of a fan favorite in Ottawa. Uh, I have heard her name thrown around quite a bit. So, obviously, it'll be interesting to see where they go with that. I didn't really see the trade coming. It's hard because the teams are so tight together. I don't see realistically see like in a 16 league. What's the point of making really big trade? You know what I mean? Because also too, you can't openly tank because of the golden rule. You can't just tank. You have to, you have to win games after you're out of a playoff spot. Otherwise you will not win the first overall pick. Um, so it, it, it's a little bit tepid for, uh, uh, what's called tra trades right now. Uh, there's two games tomorrow. Highly recommend you go watch them. That was Miss Manitoba moments. Three stars of the game. Um, easy first star of the game. Let's go through the, the other two first. Um, third star of this game. It's hard. It's actually kind of hard. Um, I'll give it to Sean Monahan. I like Sean Monahan tonight. He was good. Um, I liked him on the line with Ehlers. I was a little annoyed that Kevin Sawyer would not leave Nikolai Ehlers alone when he was developing and making plays. Um, honorable mention will go to um, Dylan Sandberg and David Gustafson. Both, I think, excelled defensively tonight. Dylan Sandberg looks like a bona fide. Like, he looks like someone who's been there before, and it's only his real second year as as an NHL regular. And he has made some exceptional plays, especially on a three-on-one the Rangers had. Played it like a pro, took the body out, took the puck out of the play. Absolutely phenomenal. Love to see it. Second star has to go to Connor Hellebuck. Stood on his head a bit there, but also just made the easy saves and then and made hard saves look easy. And that's quintessential Hellebuck. And then Mark Shifley with the hat trick. Gets the first star of the game. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I believe our next game is against uh, the Devils. I could be wrong. Could be the Islanders. I think it's the Devils, though. We'll see. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please leave a like, uh, subscribe, and comment down below. And we will see you next time. One, the Gliders. Chips it through, gets around, and he shoots and scores! What a goal!